Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing an eye look for you guys today. I'm going to go ahead and do my face first, but I'm just going to speed that whole thing up because I already have a video showing you guys how I do that. If you would like to see that video, I will link it down below so you can see how I do my face. But other than that, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so my face is all done. So let's just jump right in and start this eye look. You know what, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so I think I'm going to do something to do with that. Um, even though this video probably will not be posted for another two weeks because I always film my videos super in advance. Let's just do it. So I am taking these two Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes, the Amethyst Obsessions and the Ruby Obsessions. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Ruby Obsessions palette because this very first color in the palette right here, it's like a very soft pink, so I think that will be a really pretty base color for the whole look. So I'm just going to go in with this Morphe brush and pack that color all over my lid. Okay, so that color is all over my lid now. And now I'm going to go in with this MAC 224 brush. I'm going to go in with this color in the middle of the very bottom of the palette and I'm going to put that on right in my crease. Okay, so that color is all in my crease now. So now I'm going to go in with the Amethyst Obsessions palette, and I'm going to take this color in the bottom corner right here, and I'm also going to add that to my crease, but I want to focus it mainly on the outside of my eye and kind of blend the red and the purple together. And I will be. And then I'm going to go back into the Ruby Obsessions palette. Um, I'm just going to be switching back and forth between these two probably throughout the whole video. Um, but I'm going to use the color in the bottom corner right here and then go ahead and go back and also add that to the outer corner of my eye with that purple that I just did. And then back into the Amethyst Obsessions palette and I'm going to take this purple right in the corner at the top. It's slightly darker than the one that I first started with just to get kind of a more defined look in the outer corner of my eye. So I'm trying to focus the red on the outermost part of my eye and then I'm just trying to do the purple on the inner side of the outer corner of my eye so that it will kind of blend from purple 
to that nice bold red color. Then I'm going to go ahead and take this dark purple color right here in the palette and I'm going to try and put that again on the inner side of the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with this dark red color in the Ruby Obsessions palette and go ahead and do the same thing with that. And then once that was all done, I just went in with that first color that I used in the Ruby Obsessions palette as the base and just kind of cleaned it up around the edges of my eye and up at the top. So I think that I might do um, in the Amethyst palette this first shimmer color in the palette right there um, towards the outside and then blend it in to this nice red shimmer in the Ruby Obsessions palette. Don't worry, I realize I have like red eyeshadow down here. I'll clean it when I'm done. And I will be buried in sadness and covered in ashes Read from cover to cover in this book of matches and I will be all alone So besides all this cute fallout that's all over my face right now I think it turned out pretty good Maybe I should just leave it I'm just going to take some Laura Mercier setting powder and we will pretend like none of that ever happened. Honestly, probably I'm going to have to use some concealer to fix that. Every time, dude. Every time. So now I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlighter in shade Princess Cut and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight around my eyes. Conform and stay in my For the eyeshadow on my bottom lash line, I'm going to take that light red that we put in the crease. I'm going to take a little bit of a bigger brush and put that along my lash line. I don't think I'll ever be good enough. Well, that's it. I give up. I and then I'm going to take a smaller brush. Um, and I'm going to go in with that dark purple color and I'm going to put that on my lash line super close to my lashes. Then I'm going to take this Stilla Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner and do my top eyeliner. Okay, so now my eyeliner is all done. I just did a really tiny wing today. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the eyeliner on my top lash line and then along the bottom too as well and I'm just using this Sephora um, waterproof crayon eyeliner And I will be so I'm going to take my um, Benefit Roller Lash and do my mascara, upper and lower, and then I'm going to go over it with this Tarte uh, Tarteiste Mascara. Okay, so my eyeliner is all done, my mascara is all done. I just went ahead and touched up um, the eyeshadow along my bottom lash line after I did my mascara down there. And now we can do the lashes. I'm going to use these New Bouncem eyelashes and they are the Australian Mist ones. These are my favorite lashes that I own. Alright, so lashes are all done. So now we can move on to the last step, which is the lipstick. Okay, so since I'm doing a Valentine's Day themed um, look today, I thought it was only fitting to use Kylie Cosmetics shade Love Bite. Um, so I'm going to do that around the outside of my lips and then I want to blend it in to this color Kristen. So I'm going to take the lip liner from shade Love Bite and going to go ahead and outline my lips. I just outlined my lips in shade Love Bite and then took it um, on the majority of my lips. But now I want to go in with um, Kristen since that is dry. And I'm just going to put it on the middle of the bottom of my lips and the top and then just kind of blend it out. Alright guys, so that is today's final look. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out for just like winging it. And even though this video is going to be up a few weeks after Valentine's Day, I still think this is a really pretty look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and please remember to like this video and subscribe. And also I'd like to give a huge shout out to 42 Eagle for allowing me to use their awesome music in my videos. Um, I hope you guys love the music that I have been putting in my videos just as much as I do. Links to their social media and links to anywhere that you can find their music to download or listen to will all be down below. So thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Bye!